I'm a layered bob. That's my yes. regular haircut. But believe me, it doesn't always look like this when I've been in the salon here. It looks great. Now tomorrow I get up and I've been, you know, working out, I've been sleeping. It's not going to look this good. I may not want to take the time to actually fix it and wash it and blow dry it and all that jazz. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just leave it out for a minute. We're going to put this wig on me and show you how even though I have that haircut, I and color, and the color, same color, same, same cut. color. So nobody would even know that I did anything different for the most part. And if I wanted to take this to my stylist and, uh, you know, and just kind of trim it up, I could. I want to show you the top. Look at the top of this wig. That's why it looks real. If you see wigs that have all one color and they go all the way to the root, et cetera, especially on a blonde, I guarantee it's a wig. In this case, it is showing you the shading that blondes have. That's the same shading I've got in my own hair, and now I've got it on the wig, so I don't have to do the work. All right. Should we pop this on? Oh, so, wait, and so again, if you've got okay. your little bangs yeah, in the front, just get all the hair off of your face. Yeah. So here we go. I, I'm okay. going to go over how to wrap your hair again. Okay, but let's, that's fine. Let's see, let's see so, how quickly. I'm going to go ahead and pull this on. On your Oopsie. forehead, and you want to give it a nice, oh, big, yeah. big Hang stretch. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's I sometimes like to actually hold it on my forehead. Okay. And, and then go that way. And a big stretch all the way yeah. back and over everything. There we go. Okay. Pulling Hang your ears. Second. Stuck on a bobby pin. We, give you, we gave you a, a quickie. We gave yeah. you a... There we go. And Perfect. you know what else, too? One of the things I've learned... Oh, I keep going the wrong way. Um, when you get it home, you got to play with it. you got to take it out of the box and you gotta put it on and you gotta play with it. And it's gonna take a few times. If you want to, you know, take it off and try it again and try it again and try it again. And then once you get it home and you get it on and you start to take your comb and your brush or whatever and you start to make it your own. If I want to, I can even tease it a little bit. Can I use hairspray? Absolutely, you can use absolutely. use hairspray on it. You make it your own and all of a sudden, you've got your cute wig and you're like, oh man, that is gonna be so awesome. So here's the price tag, five payments of less than $20 a month and you can get this home. We wanna show you colors. So we're gonna go to the uh, color box okay, here. Okay, and Mary Beth, you've got the light golden blonde okay. on. Then we move to the medium golden blonde. They do share shades between them, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna overlap in shades. Light golden blonde, medium golden blonde, Moving on to the medium brown with golden highlights. Beautiful. We've also got a medium brown with ginger highlights. That's very pretty. And a medium red with ginger highlights, okay? We've got light brown right here at the top. I'm gonna pop on the medium red brown. We've also got dark brown, black with burgundy highlights. This is super pretty. And a black right over here at the bottom. Wow. I want you to do it now because everybody saw how we did it. We're just going to show you the shade charts again. Okay, here. so light golden blonde, medium golden blonde, light brown, medium brown golden, medium red brown. And then we've got medium red with ginger, medium brown with ginger, black burgundy, dark brown, black, lots of shades. We've got tons of shades. Yeah. How and do you do way, it? I just decided to take one side and put it behind the ears and bring this forward so you have kind of that little extra chic style exactly. to Make it. Make it your own, customize yeah. it for yourself. If I wanted to, I could put this back behind my ears if I wanted to. Exactly, and, and once you know how you like in. to wear it, yeah. then you it's a go-to. You get it done in two and three minutes in the morning. You look Out awesome. To wherever I gotta go. It's not gonna you frizz know? if you're dancing all night and sweating, and by and the way. And it takes five <sighs> minutes to do. Hang on, I got one sticking up. All right, let's watch how Christina does it because it doesn't matter the length of your hair, whether you have shorter hair like me or longer le length hair doesn't like you. Doesn't matter. If you've got if you've got longer hair, this is uh, also, it's actually arguably sometimes quick and, e quick and easier than shorter hair. But it is, because you don't have all the pieces. You don't have to put as many bobby pins in. So I'm taking, my, taking the bobby pins and pulling the hair away from my face, securing it away from my face. What I like to do with the long hair, just to get it out of my way, is divide it in the center down the back, just like this. And then you want to crisscross the sections, okay? Just like that. Mm -hmm. And then you can take this and bring it over to the side. Depending on how long it is, you, that's kind of where you pop in your pin. Yeah. This is a no-brainer. It's easy it's to so do. Easy. And you know what? If you're not good with your hair and you need that practice, yeah. do it a couple of times in the well, mirror. That's what I mean. You, it took me some practice when I was at home doing these, but I love having these handy and available to me when I want them. 
We're busy. Yeah, women, we're women busy, are women. busy. We don't have time. We and have kids. We have work. We have. And sometimes the extra half an hour of sleep is more important than anything. Oh, yeah. And I'd rather just sleep in and put a wig on, you know? Okay, so it is um, adjustable. It's got a stretch lace construction. You it's have ear tabs at the base to make it even larger or smaller. You have these ear tabs on the side, which are important. I'm going to show you how to use those, okay? What you do is you just kind of use your forehead to hold it still, and you give it a big, big stretch. You see how I'm kind of really giving it a big stretch? It's got a lot of elasticity in it, okay? What you want to do at this point is take your ears out of it. Mm -hmm. Find those ear tabs I spoke about. That's going to help you understand where the center of the wig is. See, mine's off a little to the left. I'm going to move it and find center. And then press those ear tabs to your temple area to give it an extra snap fit. You want to align your hairline with the line of the wig. So mine's a little bit higher than that, okay? And here's how I like to style a wig, because these will find their own place. You give it a nice big shake. You see how secure that is? And you get volume. And, you, and so I already see it's starting to go in this direction. So I'm going to use my fingers to help it along. No frizz, no knots, no mess. This That's is a perfect look. And look this, at is, this. this is a haircut I wore over and over and over again in my life, but I don't want to commit to it. Exactly. Why? Five minutes to glamour. And everybody says, oh my gosh, I love your haircut. Now yeah. here's the other thing, is that it feels like real hair. It looks like yes. real hair. But it is going to be a great, when it's not real hair, that's when the humidity doesn't bother it. That's when it doesn't matter. You can go out in the wind, and, yep. and if you got into, you know, you walk into a building and you've just been out in the wind, all you have to do is basically shake, shake your head. And it's going to fall you know, right into fall its into own place. place. One quick thing before we show you colors again, which is what we're going to do next. I just wanted to show you. Um, the tabs on here because people were asking what do you mean by the tabs on the sides? Oh, okay, so, so here we are. Okay. So basically this is the front of the wig right here, okay? Mm -hmm. And on either side if you just move along there's a triangular area right here. You can't see it but you can feel it and look at that, they're flexible, they kind of bend, all right? So when you get it onto your onto your temple area, you're going to push that tab in to make sure that the that the wig stays nice and close to your head. And that's what also makes it really believable, right. okay? And that's why that's you can be out in side. a wind and not and worry about You can about drive in a convertible your... in the exactly. Hamptons if you want to, you know what I mean? And your hair's going to look good when you're drinking your iced tea. Okay, so here is the scoop. We've sold 22,000 of these wigs, of these wigs, of this wig. And why? Because it's super simple. You know why? Else, because the haircut is ageless. Yes. This is a haircut that anybody could wear. It doesn't matter your age. I messed this up, so forgive me. Um, but also, always in style. Uh, when look you're talking about a layered bob wig, it's always in style. You look at the real wives of wherever, Hollywood wives, Beverly Hills wives, whatever, a lot of them have this cut. Oh, yeah. And you know what's nice is it doesn't matter if you're in your 20s, 40s, 50s, 60s, but it works. That's the key. We're going to go over to the, um, let's show the colors uh, again because this is really important. So let's go through Light gold and blonde, Mary Beth Rose wearing that color. Medium gold and blonde is on the, on the stand at the desk over there. Medium brown with gold, medium brown with ginger medium red with ginger over here, lots and lots of shades to choose yeah. from, and light brown, then I've got the medium red brown, dark brown, black with burgundy, and black. And if you're not sure which color yeah. to choose, and it's your first time getting a wig, you know what I say? Choose the color that you have on your head. Right, oh exactly. Yeah. And then once you get a little bit more experienced and you understand yeah. that this is an accessory like a bag or a shoes and you can be wearing this all the time, then play with colors. That's a good idea. Let's look at Stacy. What what color are you wearing? Medium brown? No, black with burgundy. Black with burgundy. Mm -hmm. This is take, another color that sells close, out all the time. Yeah, take a close look at this. This is gorgeous. This is it a is. beautiful true black not an unbelievable black. Mm -hmm. And then it's got these burgundy highlights. I say to women that don't want to go and get the highlights at the salon because they're too expensive or it yeah. never comes out right. Well, right. On, on black hair, it really doesn't come out the way that you would love to, it to come out. Or you have to yeah. you really pay lots and lots of money to a specialist. Look, at this is a perfect execution Look of that. highlights. Up close. Look at that. It's, it's flawless. Dynamite. This is like the most expensive it's highlights like you can find. a $200 highlight job. And up, Mary Beth Rowe. It is <laughs> up there. I mean, this is great color. And the execution what? of this haircut, look at that. Beautiful how it's cut. And the thing is, look at the price.
because you know what? For five monthly payments of $19.80, put it this way, place your order with a credit card, spend $19.80, basically a $20 bill, and get this home and try it and play with it. Don't just put it on once and send it back because you're missing out. I tell you, that's kind of what a lot of people do. And the people who actually stick with it and play with it, all of a sudden, uh, you know, I know people who hadn't worn wigs for years and then got started getting these hairdo wigs and now that's all they wear. Yeah. In fact, they've cut most of their hair off because they don't even want to deal with it and they just put on the wig every day. And that's really, really simple. That's why I keep calling it five minutes to glamour. And sometimes it's just fun to get people's attention by doing <laughs> something a little different. And they don't even realize it's your hair. They think you lost weight. And they'll, they'll say, They never know. I they know. never know what you did. Like, did exactly you lose right. Weight? And you're yeah. like, uh, Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> I, I, get, I, uh, I work with women and I, I sort of do a lot of extensions, even in the salon. And they say, Oh my God, this one's going to notice. I don't know what to do. You know, it's going to be uncomfortable. You know who notices? The people that would never notice, like the guy who opens the door for you or something yeah. into a building, like someone you would <laughs> never imagine. Your friends are like, you lost weight, you look great, just yeah, like that. exactly. Now, which color does uh, Melissa have on? Medium red with ginger. Okay. Medium red with ginger. But again, look at so the execution cute. of this color. It's a little lighter yeah. right around the face, exactly the way it would be if you brought a picture into the salon and said, I want it a little brighter around my face. We've right. thought about that. We've executed that in the color. Look at these cuts. You know, you can bring a picture into the salon and say I want this haircut and do you know yeah. how often they're able to deliver this haircut this good this perfectly with all these graduated layers that blend and create a beautiful cost you a fortune cost you a fortune and, and nine times out of ten you're like oh it's and really not right it's like it. it feels like it has a hard line or you know right. I hear women all the time say shortcuts are hard to execute well and this, they're they're expensive to keep up because you have to cut more often yes you got to be back in the salon in three to four weeks mm -hmm. for a cut and you got to go in every six weeks for a color yeah. I just want to show you we have on the same wig Melissa and me She's in the medium red ginger. I'm in the light golden blonde. I have it behind my ears. She has it in front of her ears. You can wear it either way. I mean, look how cute this is. This is like a Megan Murray kind of cut. And <laughs> if you know who Megan Murray is, she <laughs> brings us a lot of our M joys. But these are gorgeous. We want to show you colors again because this is very, very popular. Closing in on several hundred of these. How many? Almost a thousand of these gone. So let's go through colors. This is what I'm wearing. Up, it's up at the top. Okay, light golden blonde, medium golden blonde. Very similar, by uh -huh. the way. But I have to tell you, I actually own both colors. And this is a little, I wear this more spring summer because it has a little more golden to it. Yes. And so it looks more, more sunshinish. I'd agree there. So Sunshine, medium brown really with golden highlights here. We have medium brown with ginger highlights. So they're both medium brown. This is a little more neutral. This is a little, little warmer. Medium red with ginger at the base here. That's I what Melissa was wearing. Melissa was wearing. I love mm -hmm. this color. It's funny for a blonde that wants to try strawberry color. Light brown right over here. Medium red brown is the tone that I'm wearing. Moving into the dark brown. Beautiful black with burgundy oh, and yeah. a true black at so the bottom. That's there. what Stacy had on yes. in just a, in just a few minutes ago. And you saw Here's how nice thing. this highlight look. Twenty dollars, basically. You can get this home. Try it. Work with it. Play with it. And uh, seriously, when you're not used to wearing one, it's good to put it on on a day when you're going.